In the heart of Melbourne, a glimpse into the home of the future. This is the Greenhouse, a self-sustaining living space and the brainchild of Zero Waste Advocate, Joost Backer. We're the only species that generate waste. In nature, there is no waste. It's so practical, so logical, so simple. There's nothing that's gone into this building that can't be recycled or is biodegradable. Run on renewable energy, the three-storey building is the realisation of a complete closed-loop system. The greenhouse is inspired by nature. It's an ecosystem where everything becomes a food source for something else. We're harvesting rainwater and using it for aquaponic systems and growing food. We're using waste to make fish food. The mushroom wall is designed to harness steam from the shower. We've experimented with about 20 different varieties. This is an Australian native mushroom that a friend of mine found bushwalking. And uh, snowflake is what he's called it. And it's delicious. From maybe age 12, I started getting really obsessed with the idea of productive buildings. The potential of our buildings to grow food and to grow energy and to be so much more than what they are today. Can't beat the smell of freshly harvested food. It's really about showing that we've got some incredible solutions where we live. The greenhouse also works as a restaurant and making use of what's grown on the premises are the house's only residents, chefs Joe Barrett and Matt Stone. To be able to grow and produce food on a tiny footprint in the middle of the city and turn it into exciting dishes is completely unique and there's nothing quite like it. We just head out to the garden really and then pick from there and then start cooking. We often get asked how you can live more sustainably and it's, it's a really simple answer, it's uh, eat locally and eat seasonally. More than one third of our greenhouse gas emissions come from agriculture, according to a recent UN study. Backer's vision provides a blueprint for a greener home and a more sustainable food system. Our food causes more harm to the earth than anything else. We don't need as much land to grow as much food as what we do. So we can return land to wilderness. We can start planting more trees on farms. There's a lot of damage that we need to repair, but we can't do that without finding an alternative system for food production. And that's, I believe, sits right where we live.